sea level is rising. It's been rising for a long time. We think the rate of rise is going to accelerate, and over the 21st century, it might rise further by 10 inches or 20 inches or 30 inches. Those are the kinds of numbers we're talking about. That means that areas of the coast that aren't very far above sea level now will be lost to sea level. Parts of the east coast, parts of the west coast, and the gulf coast. Much of Florida, for example. This is typical of our beaches along the Atlantic shore in that we're having gradual erosion of the shoreline. It becomes necessary to put more sand on the beach if you want to keep a beach in front of you. This is just a stopgap measure to try to hold the sand in front of all these uh, hotels and condominiums that have, have grown up along this shoreline. Most of these areas just haven't taken into account the fact that sea level is rising and is probably going to rise at an accentuated rate in the coming century. There's a nice tall condominium complex that's on compacted sand foundation. So think about that a minute. What's compacted sand foundation? That's just jumping up and down on the sand and building a high rise. The high tides are higher. The water comes down our streets more frequently. Um, you can almost fish or catch shrimp off of the uh, off of your porches. I'm not quite sure that people really pay attention to this when they're sitting 15 or 20 stories up in the air, but all of a sudden when they're on the ground and realizing that their swimming pool is filled with ocean water and shrimp and fish, now you have maybe a, a, a picture put onto the issue of global warming.